Tiny, don't we both? Yeah. We ha he had the map. So you want to go by the directions? Oh, I don't know. Got a coat hanger, we'll get them out of it. Oh, God. You probably didn't want to hear about that, but you heard it anyway. Did they chop their legs off? No, it's not wide enough, babe. <laughs> Are you right there? You want a hand? No, I think, okay. <laughs> babe? What's the matter, babe? I'm not coming out there. That's no, good to see. What? The washing machine's in the female's yard. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do it, mate? Look at me when I'm talking to you. I do not like to promote alcohol, but when Rusty's first, <laughs> there's something very exciting happened for Kimmy today. Yeah. Very exciting, didn't it, babe? Look at her face, will you? How happy she is. Yeah. Rusty, first time you on the road, ah. on the road, first time you again. Cover her back up. She might wake up, babe, and realise she's stuffed away in the bag. Welcome back aboard, guys. This is our second day in Dubbo, New South Wales, Australia. And today, look at this beautiful city. Absolutely stunning with this glorious weather. Well, it was time to hit the road and have a little bit of breakfast before we started to explore this pretty little town. So here we are, we're down in Dubbo's main street, aren't we, babe? We sure are. And um, we're on the way to jail. We're going to jail. Yeah, we've got to sign in, don't we, babe? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? We've got to pay to get in there, too. Yeah, because they don't want us, so we had to pay to get in. Go figure, eh? Paying to get in jail. They didn't want the presence of Kimmy Russ Adventures in their jail. Nah. So we're jail just about, aren't we, babe? <laughs> we are going to the old Dubbo jail. We're going to lock Kimmy up, aren't we? Yeah, and this will be the first time we've been in here. Yes, because Kim's, Kim has always been too tight to pay to go in here. I know, and I've seen it on TV and thought, oh shit, we should have gone in there. Yes, this is the entrance right here. It's right in the middle of the main yeah. street, isn't it? Any person who without lawful authority enter or attempts to enter any prison property, who loiters about or near any prison property or communicates or attempts to communicate with a prisoner is liable to imprisonment. Is that right? For a term of six months or a penalty of $100. The Old Dubbo Jail is a small compact jail located within the central business district of Dubbo. The enclosure wall is extensive and high. It is built of Dubbo red-brown bricks in English bond with piers laid in lime mortar. Above the northeastern corner of the wall is a watchtower having a wide eaved roof of corrugated iron. Originally a catwalk extended from the watch hour. This remarkably complete and intact jail operated for 119 years from 1847 to 1966 and is still nestled in the main street of Dubbo. This set of 19th and 20th century jail buildings create a pocket in time and the experiences within bring history to life. The regional jail is representative of powerful surprising and dark moments in Australian prison history. They house important collections such as the largest collection of hangman ropes in Australia and unforgettable experiences such as the eerie solace of the dark cells and the bird's eye view from the watchtower. Here we are, we are at the old Dubbo jail aren't we both? Yeah. <laughs> this is it here. We'll go left first or what? He said... Well um, we can go, we can go whichever way we want. We ha he had the map so you want to go by the directions? Oh, I don't know. I mean, okay. Just telling us to go around in a loop. This is the garden here. Fly pit. That's oh, a well, mate. Oh, well, well, well. 
Look at it, Dean. Oh, oh, there's heaps of money down there. Look, there's though. an old coin there. Look at this. Yeah, look at all the money down there. Yeah, look here. Right yeah. There. Got a coat hanger? We'll get them out of there. Oh, God. You should only be after the goldies, I can tell you that right now. You no, know, they're strange ones. The rest would be of no value to her. Female graves. division, there's gallows and gallery. There's graves up here. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, babe, this looks like solitary to me. Stretch in time. Mm. 1788 through to 2004, New South Wales prison history. Look at the old padlocks. They would look well, oh. good in the old wall. Mm. Can I get one of them rocks? We'll smash this glass and we'll yeah. get, get one out and oh. take home a souvenir. Okay, I'll go get one. Look at that old ladder. Remember, I had an old ladder like that. Old Rusty was climbing up on the roof. Broken one run. of these runs broke. One of Rusty's <laughs> balls went very yeah. black, didn't they, babe? One of Rusty's balls went very black. Or no, you probably you probably didn't want to hear about that, but you heard it anyway. That's climbing up on the roof, one of the rungs broke. Bang, Rusty went down. One ball went black, then I can tell you now. I was seven years old when T. Leonard was locked up in here. It was not open then. Was it? No. Why are they locked up? Because they... someone was here in 1975, I guess. Oh. This is the courtyard or something, isn't it, babe? Did they say courtyard here? I think so. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. You're, You're the one with all the instructions. Here. We've got some graves here. Thomas Newman, 1847, 1877. Mary Ann Wilson. Fuck, I know there's one here for you, babe. Oh. There's no name on it. <laughs> Look at that, though. Lay down on that, yeah, sweetie. We'll see if it fits. Look how big it is. They're all the same size. We'll see. Did they chop their legs off? No, it's not wide enough, babe. <laughs> it's not wide enough. <laughs> Did they chop their legs off, it's though? It's not wide enough, sweetie. Are you right there? You want a hand? No, I think... I can. <laughs> babe, you right? <laughs> they won't leave me there, sweetie. Here am I within the walls of the Dubbo Jail, awaiting my trial. Only the cold stone walls of the jail are about me, but I have found solace in their solitude. Mm, female division was constructed in 1887. Rightio, we'll go and have a look. This year is the female division. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Look at that fucking shitter. I would have shitter like that back years ago at home, but it had no flush and bloody toilet like that. Oh. The man used to come and get the dunny. Didn't you? I don't Remember know. Remember them shitters raw that, babe? But they used to come and get the dunny and take them I and pull them on the back of a them. truck, no. didn't you? Okay. No. Fair enough. Put it on the back of a truck. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's pretty modern, really. Yeah. This, the bathroom in that. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been that modern back in 1847. Mm. You want to go up here? Yeah. Okay. Kimmy coming up. All right there, Kimmy. Sorry, my bag's probably making a noise. Is it? Oh. Kimmy won't be coming out here, I can tell you now. Is there a rail? Yeah, because this is up above. I suppose this is where the guards were, some guards were. Look at the size of those walls. <laughs> She's about to come out, guys, but nah, she stopped. What's the matter, babe? I'm not coming out there. Why? What are you doing? I'm standing against the wall. <laughs> you can take a photo. OK, babe. Uh. I'll just go all the way around. I suppose this would have been a guard's office, um, guard's sentry, or whatever you want to call it. Hello. What are you coming here? There's a glass floor. What's that for? I don't know. Oh, the hangman's thing, is it? No, I didn't say. What's it say, babe? Oh, that's why they used to get up here originally, I think, babe. The yeah. Of it. Oh, the surveillance. Yeah. This is... He used to come up through that right. way. Right. That's his access up. Yeah, and then he come up here with a gun, babe. Yeah. One here, one there, and one yeah. there. Yeah. Waiting for people to scour the walls. Mm. <laughs> you lock oh, me in. Kimmy, at least you come down okay. Oh, yeah. You come down, you went down quicker than what I you come up. I go, I go down quite well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the female division, guys. Oh, had to be in one of these beds, babe. Mm. Oh, jeez. Oh, what, is that a steel door, babe? Do not touch the doors. Oh. Yeah, steel door. Do not touch the doors, so what can we do? What do you do? Public safety. What do you do? I touched it. You touch it. Yeah. Bloody hell, they're double brick or something, aren't they? Look at this. Well, that mattress is not that thick. No, it's on a little wooden board. Whatever. That's like our camper mattresses. <sighs> oh, look at the doorway. You wouldn't want to be 
Catherine Warren was in here, but Well, I tell you what, they wouldn't want to be very big, fat, because they wouldn't fit through the doors. Cool. All the harnesses and all that death mask. Number nine's a death mask. It's all the stuff they used to flog me with over there. Yeah. Over there. Oh, wow. Lay you on that and flog you. Mm. Do they take your height so when they hang you? Yeah, you stand there, babe. Well, I won't move up and down. But I'm five foot, aren't I? Not quite. Yeah, no, you're a bit, bit below five foot there, babe. I suppose this is the warden's office. Geez, we have one of them. That's not that old. What a typewriter like this. <laughs> That's not that old. <laughs> Imperial. Oh, whips and chains. Handcuffs. Whips and chains and handcuffs, babe. Yeah. Oh, they're leg, leg irons, I reckon. I get you on the head with now. She would have been hard in this jail, wouldn't it? Torture. Oh, another jacket. Hmm. They are bloody if they locked up motorcyclists. Yep. Didn't they, babe? Yep. Run, babe, run. Oh, it's a correction. Yeah, services. Yeah. What's in this way? It's wood. Oh no, it's a steel door. Some sort of a yard or something, I guess. There's a toilet over there in the corner, babe. Toilet perched on a horse, 15 year old. How fucking toilet needs cleaning, babe. The toilet needs cleaning. Does it? Yeah. You should see it. Oh, that's a dirty shitter. That's yeah, a dirty shitter. This little boy, they reckon he stole a horse. Stole a horse. Fifteen year old. <sighs> they said he said a horse was owned by him, stealing a horse and bridle. He was arrested. He he caught the horse on common grounds and did not know whose it was. There's that Catherine Warren, babe. We were in her cell. Ah oh, yes. Yes. A lot of information in around here, of, around the area, and things and people. Remand. Who's yelling? It's a recording. Oh. <laughs> What's this one? Hey, it's good to see. What? The washing machine's in the female's yard. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably how it was too. <sighs> babe, come put your hand in here. Put your arm in here. Yeah. Come on, babe. Put your arm in no. there. Oh. I can hear horses or something. Are these the old clothes? The old boiler? The old clothes. Old copper. Yeah, old copper boiler. An iron? Yeah, scrubbing board. Bloody hell. Oh, old washing machine, look at that. Agitate the clothes like that, babe. Bloody hell. Exercise yards. What's this one? Wash area, I guess. Yeah. Toilet. Yep. Oh, look at these old things on the wall here. Pipes, isn't it? Old things on the wall? I fucking had them when I was a kid. Really? Yes. Metas. They're toilets, water. Yeah. Oh, I had them with a kid. They're the sustain. They're the modern sustain. You're old. Yeah, I am. Oh, this is a big one, this one. Oh, wow. Would have been nice and cool, though, with all this. Um... Oh, he scared me for a minute. He's escaping. Oh, God. <laughs> look at that. Look at that, guys. Dude's in just as much trouble for helping him. Yep. Right, well, this is the padded cell that we would normally put Kimmy in. Yeah. He's gone crazy, that Leather dude. walls and everything. They go crazy. Yep. I reckon you would do, wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm. So these are cells all the way down through this block. Yeah. Would have been harsh conditions. Oh, look at this one. We're not allowed in there. What's in there? Um, shoemaker. Can I have a look? Yes. Hello, oh, guys. Shoemaker. See? That's his bed. Huh. I can hear him. He's still in here. Is he? Listen. He's still in, he's still in here, babe. I've got him locked in. He's still in there, making shoes. Yeah. Look, this one's not even allowed to have a bed. Oh, poor fella. Yeah, I can hear him. 
He's what? knocking. Jackie Underwood, mate in New South Wales, a drover, Roman Catholic, murder. Death by hanging, hanging, mate. Is that right, mate? Why did you do it, mate? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Button. Look at me when I'm talking to you, folks. <laughs> mate? Why did they kill you? Babe. He's not talking. He won't talk to me. Why did they lock you up? Can't speak English. Murder, they reckon, sweetie. Dude, mm. stop being rude. Yeah, dude. We paid to get in here. Mate. You I'm never. Going. We want something for our money. <laughs> <laughs> we want him to talk to us, at least. <gasps> All the shivs in that, babe. Look, third sun silk. That's the old one you used to have. That's a smoking device, that bone. Is it? Yes. It's a ball. Oh, okay. Jesus. They made it out of sun silk. Shiv out of an old can. Mm. Very innovative, aren't they? Very innovative. You've got to be innovative when you've got nothing. Oh, good time. I began to work my way around the 9 by 9 stone cell. Where'd you go? At last, my foot kicked against a small wooden stool and I sat down. There's a ghost in here. I'm aware of the dark. Did you know this? I think he went the mad. That was more than an absence of light. Yeah, I think he went mad. It was a darkness that seemed to have light. The place would send you mad. Okay, so that's one cell block. We've got to go down over this side now. Haven't been in through here. Look at it. Big walls around there, isn't there? I don't know if they'd keep him properly, though. Repeat offenders, all these folks. Funny. It's a cupboard there. I would look to be at a B behind you when you went like that. No. Yeah. Look at the glasses, they look like yours. Spectacles. Oh, oh you're funny. She's flash here. Oh wow, it's a hospital, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. I think it might be. Yeah, it looks like a hospital. Yep, there's the doctor's office here, babe. Dad used to have a bag like that. Used to go to work with a bag like that all the time. My dad did too. Yours too. Was he a doctor? No, he wasn't a doctor. Well, yeah. They're worth money, those bags. That was Dad's lunch bag. <laughs> Old medicines and instruments. Cool, eh? I'm over here, babe. Have you lost me? No. You wish. No. She'd fucking freak if she lost me, guys. Don't you worry. Right, so that there, I don't know if I showed you before, guys, but that there is the gallows where they used to hang people, in the babe? Yep. Right there. Oh, I can't eat babe. Hello, do you want to? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, hang on. Do you want any stuff from the canteen? No. That <laughs> no, you're right, thanks. Okay. Contraband. Okay. Go towards my bail if that means anything. <laughs> so that's the old hanging gallows, right there. It's been locked up too long. Yeah, that one is. We've been everywhere, man. Okay, guys, that was the Dubbo Jail. Very interesting place. A lot, a wealth of knowledge in through and through there if you want to take the time and stop and read everything in the paper. Sure. Souvenir room. 1887. So that's fortified in the boat. Yeah. That door. That's it there, guys. If you just want to come and have a look at it, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And look, they've got modern day prams. So, it's time for Dream Kimmy Russ Adventures. No, we're going to have a look in here first. Okay, we're going to go in the souvenir room, apparently. Yep. The museum shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What? Handcuffs, babe. Oh, look. What? How much are they? I don't know. Cool, though. Those are cool, too. There you go, there. Hi. Hello, Kimmy. How you going, darling? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, have we had fun today, haven't we? Yeah. I wasn't drinking it. Yeah, yeah. Before you ask. Never trust her, guys, because if we start running low, which, don't panic, we're not running low, no, no. are we, babe? She'll start drinking anybody's drinks, don't worry. We have had a fantastic day and we are 
fairly exhausted, aren't we? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> we have got sore legs now. We've done a lot of walking. We're still in Dubbo, still aren't we? Still in Dubbo. Um, we went a couple of places today. You might have seen on Facey. Mm -hmm. ah, I don't like to. I do not like to promote alcohol, but when Rusty's <laughs> first, <laughs> hey, it's low carb. Yeah, it's low carb, See? okay? Low carb. Low carb. Because someone's got more fun. Oh, I haven't taken that, have I? Someone's got more no, no, no. fucking pills. More pills than what you can fucking post a stick out this year. Look at this, guys. Look. That's our pill box for the year. Is that your... Babe. That is mine. Is that your pill box for the year? Now, that's yep. her pills. That's mine. Right? That's full of pills, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll show you what Rusty's medication is. Where's my medication? There's Rusty's medication there, and asthma spray. That's all. We had to bring an extra bag this year, didn't we, eh? <laughs> as well as that bag, we brought an extra bag, didn't we, eh? Yeah, it keeps me alive. <laughs> yeah, well, after I did that last video last night, they haven't seen that yet, you're probably going to be wondering why I've kept you alive. Ah, so I can so, watch it. Well, when you see it, yeah. yeah, there was a couple of things happened in that video. Right. Yeah, so that will all come to light, though. But like I said, we've had a fantastic day today. Uh, been beautiful weather here in Dubbo, hasn't it? Uh, today, You're good walking around weather. Um, about 20 degrees, one at 20, 21, maybe 19, 2021. 20, good, really good for what we were doing. Yep. I want to give you us adventures. Yeah. You will see what we've been doing when we get home. But something very exciting happened for Kimmy today. Yes. Very exciting, didn't it, babe? Hey? Go on, go and get it. I'll just hide it. She's going to go and get it, OK? Now, Kimmy is over the moon. Go get it. Oh, oh I won't show him. I'll just, I'll just show it down on the floor at the moment, OK? All right. Sit okay. back on the bed, babe. All right. Hang on. OK. I won't show you. OK. Look at this, will ya? My birthday. Yes, it was. Look at her face, will ya? How happy she is. <laughs> hey? She has got a bride doll. Finally! She has never, she has never ever had a bride doll. When I... she's a kid, always wanted one. Haven't ya? Yep. So what have you got now? A bride a doll. A bride doll, haven't yep. you? And where did it come from? You may ask. Where did it come from? Dubbo. Dubbo? Yeah, but where did you buy it from when we were down the street this morning? Um, here it says here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, $20 there. from St Vincent's de Paul's. Without Kim knowing, Rusty has been looking for a bride doll for months for Kim, but the bloody things are so dear. I mean, a good bride doll, she's got a bit of a dodgy eye, but look, <laughs> it's not too bad at the moment. <laughs> No, it is dodgy, isn't it? It is. Now, to fit her in the bags, to fit her in these bags, we might have to do a bit of surgery and break her legs apart. I'm not real <laughs> sure Take yet. Take her legs off, <laughs> yeah. maybe a head. But we will cope with that, we'll won't show we, babe? You. We'll show yeah, you. Look, she's a bit big. Yeah, see? We see, will. Yeah, yeah, she's overhanging a bit. She's a little bit big, but trust me, we will get her home somehow, won't we, babe? She has a bit of a dodgy eye, though. Oh, it's actually standing up OK now. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that hay fever tablet you give her earlier on fixed up. That's what it was. That's it. That's what but it was. she's actually got movable arms, movable legs yep. and everything. She's a proper bride doll, isn't it? Proper bride doll, yeah. Well, I said, Rusty been looking for... Uh, spent hours and hours on the internet, but they're wanting to look upwards or 400 upwards for them. Yeah. $20, And it's man. got all its... everything on, look. Hey, make sure her knickers are pulled up. Oh, yes, her look. knickers are pulled up. And socks yeah. and shoes, yeah. all, all this. Look at that. And look. This is what this says here. Yeah. Right. Netta doll selection. And this says doll $49 when it was originally bought. And the dress was $60. $60. Yeah, uh, for that dress. So obviously yeah. you could buy different dresses for it. Yeah. Um, and I know damn well that doll's worth a couple of hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars, like she is there right now. Anyway, oh, Russ is probably look. going to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's got beautiful hair too, yeah. hasn't she? It hasn't even been undone. Yeah. Her yeah. hair hasn't even been undone. Yeah. And there is one other exciting thing today. <laughs> Rusty 
First time you on the road, uh, on the road. First time you again. What do you reckon, babe? It wasn't on the road. It was in the freaking zoo. Yeah, but it was the first time you. Yeah, I don't know if that counts. Rusty again, Rusty. You know what that means, guys, don't you? Does it count? It counts, baby. It counts. Oh, look, its eyes dodgy again. Yeah, look. see, see what it means. It's got a lazy eye. Yeah. But anyway, not to worry. We'll get that fixed. It's mine. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. We'll catch you along down the road. Don't know what road. its name is, but. I like my bride, darling. Look, it's so good. Yeah. You like him more than me. Yeah. You might be a bride one day. No. You don't need to be a bride now. You got a bride, doll. Don't you? Uh, the old clucky bitch. No, it's, it's just how it is. It's like, it's what a girl wants, it's what a girl wants. Good morning, everyone. Top of the world to you today. What do you reckon, babe? Yeah. Top of the world. Kimmy is on top of the world today. We are about to leave Dubbo, aren't we, sweetie? We are. We're just about packed up already. And the sun is shining in sweet Dubbo today. And the are here. Now, as you may have known, Kimmy got a little present yesterday, didn't she, hey? Show me how she's travelling home. Here we, we go. We never went to extremes and ripped her legs off. No, we didn't go that far. Look, there she is. She's in. She's got having a little sleep at the moment. Yeah, see? And cover her back up. She might wake up, babe, and realise she's stuffed away in the bag. <laughs> but anyway, we are heading further north. Yes, we're going to more Ree today. So. We'll catch you on the road soon. What do you reckon, babe? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Catch you soon. Well, Rusty's filling her up again. These bikes are so thirsty. Anyway. Oh, better put his drink in the bin. Still got some in it. Are you going to drink the rest of your Great Northern there, or should I put it in the bin? Mm -hmm. All right. Have you had enough? Yeah, Don't rip me off with petrol. No, babe. So here we are, just filled up at Gilgandra. And Rusty's gone in to pay. It's not a bad day today. Um, fuel, uh, I think we just filled up at 227 a litre, which is not too bad because it's been 235 maybe in some places. Um, yeah, so we're just going to head up the road and have something for a brunch. Picketing. Oh, I don't know, sweetie. What's the oh, world coming to? Anti-vaxxers. I like these wide streets. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hitting the road and we're on our way to Moree. A couple of hours away from Coonabarabee. And we're just having a chat to the guy that owns the sad saddle shop. Part C. Wait, yeah, just... Come now, come now. Come now. All these old towns seem to have a clock in the middle of the street, don't they? A what in the middle of the street? A <laughs> clock. Oh, we said something else. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Your me. mind was going in the gutter. <laughs> no, but I just thought you said something else. I thought you slipped up. Oh, so we've stopped here, about 15 k's out of Moree. Not sure why we stopped, but I think there might be some roadworks. Uh, yeah, here comes something big now, bud. Okay, do we need to get over more? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The car's behind us. Be just get in behind me. Yeah, you I am. Be right. There's a lot of heavy vehicles on the road today, isn't there? Yeah. Can we see it yet or not? Oh, the big dozer. Another one. Oh, that big. Unless there's a unless there's a narrow bit of road up here. Yeah, well they were doing roadworks as well, so who knows? Yeah. Alrighty, so we're just coming up to Moree, still in New South Wales, and Rusty is borrowing my equipment. Up, 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 up. Just be careful of the gravel on the road here. There's lots of gravel. Lots of gravel. Yep. So what are you borrowing, Rusty? I'm borrowing. I'm not borrowing. I'm not borrowing anything, babe. I'm taking. Oh, my footage. <laughs> now, this is more regals. Does it bring back bad memories for you? Not bad memories. 
Our motel's going to be up on the left down here, babe, so we'll go to the motel first, will we? Sure, yep. Okay. The shearing shed or something, isn't it? Oh, that's where we stayed last night. Oh. It's a Winchester like Bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh right. yes. Okay. Yes. Right there is downtown. If Kim's looking to the right, go. I wasn't. Because I had to give away. I was sort of filming. Oh, I don't want that footage then. No, I not good enough for my channel. <laughs> I wasn't looking to my right. I had That's to get away. not good enough for my channel. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll do better next time. Okay, so this is our motel over on the right over here. And there's no servo there no more. No, that's where Rusty had to hire his car from. It is, but there's no servo there, babe. No. You used to be a servo right there where this NRMA building is, if Kim's looking at it. I was. <laughs> Harley Davidson's just up on the left there. Be careful coming in here, remember? Yep. I do remember. Bump up here, okay? Bloody hell. Just say, you're right, keep going. Do not stop. I did. Yeah, oh, I know you did. <laughs> I was coming in too hot. Oh, you. <laughs> what? All right, we'll turn you off for a minute until Rusty pays, and then we'll show you our room. Film it. Yeah. Be a band to fuck this up. <laughs> Rusty said, "Go wide." <laughs> oh Jesus! Wide load coming through. Where is he? I'm around here, babe. Oh. Just get up close and do not hit my bike. Okay. Up closer. Should have been closer. You're gonna leap. Whoa! 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 All right. Let's have a look inside this room. Oh, we have two. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in us at all, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified because we've got a lot of stuff on YouTube. Also, you can click to play this series in our playlist. Now my wheel's in motion, and my window's open.